Hi, I wanted to uh, record just a, a short video about uh, some of the things that night vision helps you with uh, by way of a couple stories. Um, one thing when I'm walking around with night vision, um, you can see like all the LEDs and stuff on stuff that's really far away. The LEDs are really bright in night vision. Um, if you're familiar with uh, ACAB, the anti-collision uh, lights on uh, airplanes, I was out in the hills of Idaho one night and uh, wearing my night vision and I looked up and I was like, wow, there are hundreds of airplanes flying and you can see, you know, airplanes that are, you know, like 50 miles away just from their, just from their ACAV lights. Now, obviously military planes aren't going to be using ACAV probably, but there are a lot of other light sources and if it's moving, it really stands out. Um, another thing that I've noticed is if you go out at night and you, you look up into the night sky, you can see so many meteors and orders of magnitude more stars. It's, it's really amazing. Uh, one night, uh, I was out walking in the trails near where I live and, uh, I came upon some rabbits and the rabbits did what they should do, which is they, they hopped, they heard me coming. So they, they hopped and crouched, you know, they just like <clears throat> made themselves small. Uh, but I could see them and I was able to walk up. I could have touched them. I didn't touch them. I was able to walk right up to them and, and see them. Uh, and they did nothing about it. Um, another cool experience that I had walking those same trails was one night I, I was out walking and uh, the bats were just like flying at me, like flying. I could see their eyes and they were like flying right by my ears. And I could hear their little leathery wings as they like, and I couldn't figure out why am I getting dive bombed by bats? And the thing is, it was early enough as I was walking through the trails, I was hitting the leaves and stuff and I was making the bugs move. The bugs would fly up and the bats were eating. So I was like serving them, uh, I was serving them dinner. Um, another interesting thing uh, about modern night vision, I'm talking about like Gen 3 plus is um, you can see, uh, you can see through like the, if you're looking, if you're in a forest, if, if you're looking at a forest, this is the same hill in Idaho. Um, I could see through the first couple layers of trees, uh, but obviously you can't see through trees. Uh, but I could see the elk that were like, they could hear us. They knew we were out there and they were, you know, hunting for a safe space and you could see them, you know, pop out every now and again, because the, the motion is just striking. Uh, and then when we were driving down off the mountain or the hill, um, you could, you know, turn the lights off on the car and you could just see all the elk and the deer just all over the place. And they were looking at you. You could see that their heads were turned toward you. They heard you. They were tracking your vehicle, but they didn't, they, they couldn't see you. Um, so it's really a powerful force, force multiplier. Um, even if it's static, even if you're just sitting in one place and looking, you know, doing the dit, 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 dit scan, um, you can see just so much stuff. It's not all about putting night vision on your guns and shooting stuff. Just the ability to see things that no one else can see is a superpower. Anyway, I, I just want to share that. I will link to a video below of a uh, camera, that uh, security camera that I took a video of with my older night vision uh, on my neighbor's house. And you can see the the little PWM LED blinking to uh, illuminate the camera. And those are all over the place. If you walk around at night, you can see all the security cameras and, and all that type of stuff. So it's light discipline is really hard to train into people. And most people don't have it, even if they're being really careful. Um, so just being able to like, look and see like a pop of light way over there, then you know, there's somebody way over there. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And, uh, you know, Slava Ukraini. <laughs>